What's going on all you gamers, here we are in Cyberpunk 2077 and today I'm going to be giving you my opinion on what I think are the best free handguns in the game. I'm going to be picking one from each of the actual respective trees, so tech, power and of course the smart pistol. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. So yeah, if you're into gaming and you're into all things Xbox, fun hints, tips, guides and builds, and maybe some other content, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon for regular content. But for today, you're here to find out what I think are very possibly some of the best handguns in the game. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick one from each kind of respective class as such, and then I'm going to rank them in order of how I would use them. But obviously it's down to your playstyle and this is just personal opinion so take it with a pinch of salt because some people will actually like others a lot more than some of the ones I've picked. Go with what you enjoy most but I'm just going to give you the pros and cons of these ones. Right all you gamers, so kicking it off in third place but not necessarily last even though I suppose it is last if that makes any sense. Um, this one just here and you may well know this one because it is a gun you get kind of at the start of the game so this is a dying light now i've upgraded this all the way to legendary and a lot of people kind of just put this to one side because it's a very early gun you get and you get a load of others and i suppose the perks on this don't seem that amazing at the start now i've played with quite a few power pistols quite a few powerful guns quite a lot of guns in general actually now with this playstyle and I'm really starting to see the benefits of using this gun it's really good it really is a nice strong gun and even though it doesn't quite pack as much a punch as some of the others I feel like this is definitely a unique gun and well worth having in quite a few builds actually so if we go through it if you have a little look, this one at the moment, and like you can see, I'm not level 50, so obviously the damage would go up. I'm testing all of these on the hardest difficulty, and in certain builds, like I said, I think these are very viable on any level of gaming. Now this one, the reason why I'm picking it, if you have a little look, it's got 12% crit chance, so not the best. Obviously these stats will change a little bit when you craft things such as that, but it's got a little bit of crit, quite a bit crit damage, an almost 20% bonus ricochet damage, bleeding chance and 4.72 on the headshot damage multiplier. Now this may be because of how I've spec'd my character because I think that headshot multiplier is a little bit higher than it probably should be. But also it comes just over here and it comes with a nice little scope attachment, you can put a silencer on it and you'll have four mods down the side here. So if you want to spec into that crit damage or just boost its actual overall damage, you very well could. You could also chuck on any of the others that you fancied. But I believe those two are probably the best variants most times. Now if you're wondering why I've picked this gun as opposed to some of the others, it is pretty much because of this. When you're actually using guns quite a lot, most times you will spec into one of these. just up here your operating system and most times if you're going for the guns you probably will have a sandivistan version which kind of slow most time makes it a little bit easier for you to shoot kind of makes it so that you um not i don't want to say easy mode things but it does definitely help with combat kind of makes you a um john Wu neo type person so if i show you just over here i've activated that now and I've not got a gun on, which is nice. Right. So now if I show you that. This does not flinch whatsoever. Now, if I'm just holding down the trigger now. This is on the hardest difficulty. It makes it a little bit easier in being stuck in a car. But... This is like having a fully automatic, completely still submachine gun in your hand. If I show you now, aiming at this wall, so aiming without any of that, it has very, very low recoil. 
and it's fully automatic like I said. Really low recoil. As soon as I use my LB and RB, there is zero recoil. Every shot is a headshot and the targets will not be moving in this mode. You can wipe out easily when you max this pistol out with everything else, even on hard mode. I would say probably eight or nine enemies quite easily and then just walk off. The reason this is on my list is because it is a really feasible gun for this mode and it's really easy to use. And it's quite fun. Where it's fully automatic, it's quite fun. Plus, it gives you 50% extra on headshot damage, so even though the damage is a bit low, it still does a big chunk of damage. You remember, this hasn't got any of those crit mods on, and I think it hit for about 4,000 a headshot. That's, that's a really big thing for this type of gun. Now, if I press that, did you see the reload? Look at the reload. It is so ridiculously fast. You are constantly firing with this. You are constantly able to reload in a kind of like half a second, even if that. And then you're fighting again. It is absolutely ridiculous. Dying Light is well, well under the radar. It is one of my favorite guns in this game, and it works in any build. This, in a stealth build, is probably one of the best you will get in-game at the moment. Coming in at my number two slot is this one just here. Genjiro. I absolutely love this. It's a smart pistol. It is ridiculously good. It is so fun to use. And if I was going for a multi-target purpose pistol, this would be the one that I would pick. It is so much fun. It really is. It kind of makes it so you can do whatever you want. If you want to spin around in a circle and take shots at people, you can very easily do it with a smart pistol. This one, I would say, is probably one of my most used guns in game, and I find it really fun. Now, if you're thinking, why on earth have you not picked Skippy? That is because, to be perfectly honest, I feel like later game, this actually outweighs Skippy, because it kind of does a little bit more. Skippy is really good, it will be constant headshots, but this one is group clear. This one, if you have a little look, Rounds per shot increase to 4, increases magazine size, projectile speed and can target up to 6 targets simultaneously. Bullets deal additional electrical damage with an increased chance to apply shock. Now another reason why I've got this over Skippy is maybe it's just me but I think where it is a quest item I haven't been able to work out how to make it into a legendary so I'm not actually sure if you can. If I'm completely wrong chuck it in the comments and I apologise. But yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit of footage on why I use this gun. So for example, there's a group of ads and not anymore. Let's jump into a kind of tougher one with a few more. So another three and I'm, I'm not really trying. I'm, I've got to admit, I'm holding down the left trigger. It's auto targeting everything. And I'm not really trying, it's just taking them all out. Another really good reason to use this, if you have a little look, it's targeting them all. And as soon as I do this, like you can see, it's got six little dots. That means it's going to shoot at all of those as soon as I click the right trigger. Now, if you'll notice, that focused on all of them and didn't go for any of the kind of um, civilians as such. Some guns, you will get some really kind of collateral damage. This isn't one of them. As long as you're not really unlucky or not targeting really badly, most times you will absolutely massacre things. So I'm just going to have a little bot brand, walk around them, do whatever I want to do, and just mow them down. Now, it may not give you the highest numbers, but it's safe. It's easy, and other than someone else shooting actual people like that bloke just did, you're not going to get wanted by the police because you will always get nice easy kills. He says as he almost dies. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite guns and it's well worth using in game as a smart pistol. One quick feature that I tell you is worth having on this actual gun, and obviously you'll want to be specking into reflexes and handguns, just over here which nobody ever specs into, 
just up here from head to toe. Increased damage to limbs with pistols and revolvers by 15%. There's no point specking into that on most handgun builds because you're going to be aiming for the head. You will not always hit the head with this as it targets other parts of the body. So that will up your overall damage and is well worth having if you're going for this type of a gun. Coming in at our all important number one spot is none other than this one right here. Now I am only level 36. I still have some things that can up the damage on this. I haven't gone fully into damage as I've missed off quite a bit of intellect, quite a little bit of cool. But if I didn't want to, I really wouldn't need to as this gun is an absolute beast and very possibly my favorite gun in game at the moment. It is none other than the Comrade's Hammer. Now this tech revolver is unique for a number of reasons. Now one of them, I'm not 100% sure if it's intended, I think it is, they've just left it out of the description. Either that or they're going to implement some kind of a change to the whole gun. Because what it is, it says there, tech can be charged to release a powerful shot. Same as all tech weapons. This gun negates that and you do not need to. To pierce through objects and kind of like buildings or walls or any kind of a dense item that's in the way, you literally just shoot this gun and the bullet will go through as long as it's not over a certain thickness. Now, one other reason that this is an amazing and kind of a little bit overpowered gun is if you have a little look down the bottom there, it says a modified clip contains only a single bullet laden with explosives material that, re that wreaks havoc at the point of impact. Reloading this monster requires additional time. So that's the downfall, it's reload isn't the fastest. But there's kind of a little way around that as such. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly show you how this works in game and hopefully you'll agree with me and think that it is an absolute beast. So here we have a group of enemies, like I said, slow-mo and pop. They're all gone because it's kind of got an explosive tip it does error effect. Activate your slow-mo. They're all gone. Now, without actually getting the crit on this, I'm hitting 25,739. As soon as I get one, it will go up drastically. Now the reason why this gun is so good is because the damage numbers. This is one of the few guns where you have so much excess damage you could quite easily take out a boss on very hard difficulty with one shot if you were lucky enough. You will definitely be able to take out every single ad, you will be able to take out anything that comes at you, even the police on very difficult. So if I show you here. 26,000 give or take for all of those. Now that's an average kind of shot. You can definitely up that. It is easily possible to get really hundreds of thousands. So just there, 185,000, nice and easy. The highest I've seen with this um, from my own experience, I think was about 289,000 and I'm not fully geared up yet. It goes up even more than that. And the reason for that is this right here. So if I go into character and then go into handguns, some of the perks that apply to this. So for example, this one just down here, grand finale, the last round in a pistol or revolver clip deals double damage. This gun's single bullet it only has one. That means they are all double damage. That's absolutely ridiculous. If you spec this out correctly and you make a pure crit chance and crit damage build, I believe you'll be able to hit over 400,000 on certain shots. It is absolutely ridiculous. It is the highest damage handgun that I have seen in game unless there's some kind of a secret one. It's one of the most fun to use in certain builds and it kind of makes it so that you pop every single person as you go. You could quite easily do any mission on hard, except for 
stealth. This is not a stealth gun. If you want a stealth gun, do not use this. As far as I'm aware, you can't get any attachments for it, such as a silencer. Probably go for dying light or something else. But yep, this is my number one pick for absolutely massacring people. Right, guys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope maybe you've learned something from it. Or if not, and you think you have completely different choices to me, then chuck them in the comments, as I'd love to hear from you. But as always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, and for all things fun, hit that subscribe and bell icon. And as always, take care. I'll see you all next day.